Harvey Bay and heading up to Burnett Heads, Bundaberg. It's not a big sail, it's only 38 odd miles. So we're chugging out of here, heading up this way into Burnett Heads where we're just going to overnight her here. Not going to spend too long there. And then we've got a bit of a bigger one where we go from Burnett Heads up to a place called Pancake Creek, which is one of my favourite spots. It's a beautiful little anchorage. So, um, okay, so that's just near. 1770. Yeah, we can't get into 1770. It's too shallow for us. Uh, well, we could, but it'd be a trick. Um, so we opt for uh, Pancake Creek. So Pancake Creek really is a very interesting part of the coastline and has centuries worth of history. Last year we came in here after spending a week at Lady Musgrave Island. We're approximately 30 miles southeast of Gladstone now. There are quite a few mooring buoys in the creek which is good because twice we've had trouble getting the anchor dug in here. At low tide the vast sandbanks are exposed which indeed makes the areas look like a big large flat pancake. Steve enjoys this as it makes it a perfect kite surfing spot. We had a great time bush walking along the beaches and the rocks, exploring rock pools. The sandbanks are good to walk around to and fish from. We even walked further south and made it up the hill all the way to the Busted Head Lighthouse. That was very interesting. During daylight hours, the public are welcome and can tour the lighthouse, engine room and cottage museum. It's one of the best views I have seen from the top of that hill. In 1917 it converted to kerosene and then to electricity in 1935. The last light keepers withdrawn in 1986 and in 2002 after being vandalised the Busted Head Lighthouse Association was granted a lease of the site and restored the buildings. It is still operational today but automated. Up there we also found the historic Busted Head Lighthouse Cemetery which has graves dating back to 1879 which is over 140 years ago. It told us and we heard a lot of tales of shipwrecks on the many rocks out the front and the numerous drownings in Pancake Creek. I felt the area had an eerie feel to it and the wind can on occasion sound very ghostly. Um, well we've just left Pancake Creek. We left in the dark. There's quite a few rocks and stuff in Pancake Creeks and it's uh, a lot of current, quite narrow. Yeah, we probably should have waited half an hour for the sun to come up a little bit but we went in on avionics and the charts were all correct so I figured we were okay to come out. Being, we've got a long way to go today, we've got 70 miles down to Great Keppel Island. We want to try and get there in daylight if we can. But it's a nice morning. We have a whole bunch of ships and the anchoring grounds out in front of Gladstone that we have to navigate our way through. Um, so we cross a few shipping channels here, so we have to keep an eye out. The other thing about going around the front of them is when they leave to go into port, we're going across in front of them. And we've probably got a few days on Great Keppel Island, which is a real pretty spot. Great Keppel Island is located across from Yapoon. You are able to board a ferry at the mainland at Roslyn Bay to visit the island. There are many anchorages that offer protection from differing wind direction. We love it because you can take your dog ashore. There are many great walking tracks all around the island. We enjoy the white sandy clear water swimming beaches. So Steve, what's happening? <laughs> oh well we're on Great Keppel Island and we're uh, heading ashore, give the doggy a run and have a look around. A little bit lumpy out here. Of a northerly blowing and we're anchored off the resort. It's a lovely island with white sand and blue water. Steve. The abandoned Great Keppel Island Resort. Well, they don't use the airport anymore. Keep away from them. <laughs>
last long over that fence, doggy. This used to be Get Wrecked, a great couple island. And look at it now. It's just abandoned. Unbelievable. All the way down there is what used to be the resort. Hope you enjoyed our adventure from Pancake Creek to Great Keppel Island. Next episode we venture on to Pearl Bay and then Percy Islands. If you'd like notifications for the next episodes please subscribe and hit the bell button. We'll see you all then.